New at 10, a rehab center in Athens saw 77 cases of coronavirus since late June. Four of those cases were discovered in residents in just the last day. So far, one resident has died as a result of the virus. Way 31's Will Robinson Smith is live outside of the Senior Rehab and Recovery Center at the Limestone Health Facility. He spoke with the facility members and family members of a resident who tested positive about the rise in cases. Will. 56 residents and 21 staff members have tested positive so far from coronavirus. Now we're digging into the data and learning how the coronavirus is affecting this facility here as well as others in our area. I mean, just hearing that was, yeah, definitely devastating. Precious Folk's mother has been a resident at the Senior Rehab and Recovery Center in Athens for about eight months. She tested positive for coronavirus a couple of weeks ago, but after another round of testing this week, some good news. I really just got the news today that she had a negative test. I still don't know, you know, what the second test will show, but at least it shows that maybe she's moving into that positive direction of getting out of quarantine. <laughs> According to the facility, 56 residents and 21 staff members tested positive for the virus. Data from the Centers for Disease Control shows that one resident has died. There are 123 residents in total here. Folks says the process has been harder for some than others. Not everyone is doing as well as my, you know, family and my mother. Uh, some people are extremely devastated because they are not able to communicate, you know, with their loved ones. And it is taking a toll on the patients or the residents. A facility spokesperson says they're following guidelines from the CDC and the Alabama Department of Public Health. Folks says she appreciates the effort. They definitely have been doing, you know, the social distance, um, monitoring symptoms on a daily basis, as well as making sure that those who are positive are in a different unit than those who are not. However, the center at the Limestone Health Facility is not alone in its struggle with the coronavirus. Data from the CDC shows five rehab and long-term care facilities in Limestone and Morgan counties have also had residents and staff test positive. A representative from the Limestone Health Facility says they've had to shuffle staff to overcome a shortage in nursing assistants. We reached out to the health department to see if they plan to have the Alabama National Guard come help with cleaning at any facility in North Alabama. Dr. Karen Lander says they, quote, cannot discuss communicable disease investigations of specific facilities, end quote. She says that as of Wednesday, long-term care facilities have been given a list of companies who specialize in coronavirus cleaning. Meanwhile, folks is hopeful the statewide masking mandate will help keep facilities, like the one that cares for her mother, safer. I think now that it's a mandate within the entire state, that will also help with just that general spread, which, you know, seems to be creeping more and more into facilities like uh, nursing homes. Now, that death of the resident was reported to the CDC for the week of July 5th. We reached out to the facility here to ask if there have been any additional residents who have died from coronavirus or any staff members. We're waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Athens, Will Robinson-Smith, Way 31 News.